Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to import and publish an API in Azure API Management Instance. You remember we created an Azure API Management Instance in the last video. Now we will see how to import and publish an API in that. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the Azure portal. I am in my test Azure API Management Services. In this video, we will see how to import an op open API specification re residing at the demo portal. Once the backend API is imported into API management portal, which is APIM, the API, the, the API management becomes a packet for the backend API. So, the prerequisite, as you know, that we have the API management instance created. So, we are at the API management screen and you will select the APIs under the API management option on the left hand side when you are there let it come up and you select open API here add a new API you select open API click on it click on full you see the other options here as well so in the open we will set the values, uh, the API values during the creation or later by go to the settings tab. Now if you will see the open API specification here, so we will add the values here for the open API specification. So in the first, the URL would be, it's HTTPS, it's already written. I'm going to mention HTTPS colon slash slash conference api dot azure websites dot net no problem we'll see how it can do it format equal to json display name the display main would be demo conference api the name would be demo conference API description. It depends upon you. Optional, you can use it anything. URL scheme, we're going to go with HTTPS. API URL suffix, I'm going to mention as conference. So this would be my base URL. So this suffix is appended to the base URL for the API management service. API management distinguishes APIs by their suffix and therefore the suffix must be unique for every API for a given publisher. Products. I'm not going to go with tags, products. Not creating a tag. It would be unlimited. Here, version this API for more information. We're not going to use resume search with the product. You can do it from the settings page. Click on create. If you will not see the create option, if I scroll down, I'm going to do it again. I'll come back and pause the video. And you click on create. It will take it sweet. It's sweet time. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to pause the video and come back as soon as it is done. This is how it looks. The front end, the inbound processing, your back end. See here, if you will click on test, please select an operation. I'm going to click on get speakers, click on here, click on send. Select the operation, you get the automatically created. You see, the reply is OK. These are the by default features that were enabled in the backend API. So, operations can be called directly from the Azure portal, which provides a convenient way. So, you have to just select the API that you created, click on the test tab, and then you have to click on get speakers. The page displays field for query parameters. You click on send, and the backend response with 200 OK and some data. So, these are the this is the data that the packet backend responded to uh, the base URL that you typed. So this is the data. And if you would see the change log, the changes is the history of changes you have deployed to your production API. They are shown on the developer portal as well. So this is how we imported the first API into the Azure API management services. We tested it and uh, 
I hope you guys like this video. If you have time, please join me in the next lecture. Thank you. Have a good day.